when we first had the conversation 2015 with Anne-Marie and, and the team, uh, I was really excited by what they were looking at doing. They started talking about the social care related quality of life domains. All quite new, but when you look at it, it's, it, it they are the fundamentals for anyone really, anyone who you know, wants some sort of quality of life. Uh, so much so that when we created a new contract in 2016, we put them in there. So those domains, the eight domains, are actually embedded in our contract now. So the service that's being provided, we, we expect those to be looked at. Um, and we know that the vast majority of care homes across Kent and across the country, really, are providing the, the sort of service that we want. We also <coughs> know it's those extra bits as well, those, the higher order domains. And we know how tricky it is as well, um, the activity stuff. You can't have an activities coordinator seven days a week, 24 hours a day. But like it's already been said, you've got care staff that they, they are actively engaging all the time with the residents. An activity shouldn't necessarily be like, right, it's Wednesday, it's two o'clock, we're going to play bingo. That shouldn't be how it works. It should be, you know, if you're at home, you might sit, put the telly on or you might read a newspaper or you might go and make a cup of tea. A care home is the resident's home, and that's the sort of thing that should be going on. That's an activity, we see it. We don't go out with clipboards anymore, we used to, I kind of stopped that. Um, I still put my tie on. <laughs> um, but we don't want to be going around and checking things off and looking around at the building. We want to see things going on. We want to see homes full of fun and you know, excitement, stuff going on. <coughs> or people just sitting around having a chat. We know, we walk around a home and we measure things. We have to, we have a contract and we have to make sure that certain things, certain standards are being met. But there's some things you can't measure. And you know, one of the things that the care home managers will know this will come in and say, well, if it's not written down, it hasn't happened. <laughs> CQC say it as well. And it's not entirely true, is it? Because there's a lot goes on every day that you can't write down. If you've got a carer, goes up to Mrs. Smith, I eat a cup of tea, have a little chat about the cup of tea, or yeah, did you sleep? Did you feel all right? Was your breakfast okay? They don't then run off and go, well, I've got to write that in the daily record we spoke about having a cup of tea. That sort of thing isn't recorded, but it happens. We know it happens. And that's the kind of interaction and the, 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 the type of thing that leads to a better quality of life. It's better than someone's just, yeah, here's a cup of tea. See you later, I'll come back in two hours and pick up the cold cup of tea because you haven't drunk it, because you like to sit, have a cup of tea, and have a little chat while you're drinking it. Have a biscuit, maybe. It's, it, that kind of thing is, we, we know the, the basic domains. They happen across the board. We see it whenever we go into a care home. We know that happens. We don't have to record it necessarily. We do because we've got a contract that we have to monitor. But it's the other bits. But what I think KCC's role, well, I'm not going to talk about funding, um, because we know that funding is an issue across the board. Um, but what can we do without throwing loads of money in at the care sector? And there's loads of things that go on in every care home across the country. And interesting, I think you said you didn't know the, the other care home manager. Um, there's a, a network of care homes across the county. They don't always talk to each other. And what we don't do enough of is chucking up the good ideas and say, oh, we did this in our home and it worked really well. We, from KCC's perspective, commissioning officers, we go across all the different homes and disability <coughs> homes, dementia homes, nursing homes, and you see lots of things going on. And what we try to do is when we're in the next home, they might be having an issue with something, and maybe some sort of activity is not working. If you've seen it going on somewhere else, you say, well, contact this person. Find out what they put in place. Try and share some of that knowledge and share the good practice. There's a lot of it about. There's a lot of initiatives about as well. Um, a couple of years ago we had some, uh, an organisation called Ladder to the Moon, I don't know if anyone's heard of it. Yeah. Uh, they, they went into a number of homes, KCC partly subsidised some of that. Some homes took to it really well and, and embraced it and are still going with the programme. For other homes it didn't quite work. And instead of saying, like, oh, that, that didn't work for that home, <coughs> you won't worry about them, we'll just concentrate on the ones that it did work for. 
We, we talked to those homemans and said, why didn't it work and what would have worked better in your home? Because every care home is different. So we need to look at what's going on across the board and, and what other initiatives there are and how we can bring in that added value and how we can start to raise the, uh, the scores, if you like, of those higher order domains. Um, we were really supportive of the project. We wanted to get it out there as widely as we could. We wanted the, the research to actually be useful and meaningful. And I, I'm very impressed. I know the amount of work that's gone in from Nick and Anne-Marie and Grace and Sinead and everyone and Madeline, it's, it's, it's been a lot of work and there's more to come, I know. <laughs> um, <coughs> and I hope KCC can continue to support it and continue to be involved in it. And I think if we can get the word out from the care homes that have been involved, if you can start to talk to other care homes around that maybe didn't know about it or didn't want to engage in it and flag up the positives of it, it can help everyone. I think we, we, we've got our in-house care homes as well, a couple of them left. Um, we can start to embrace some of that same sort of um, the work that's going on and some of the initiatives that are going on as well. I think it's really important that we look at the individual and we look at it as we know, a person-centred approach to everything that we do. But you look at the, the whole care home as well, it, it's, it's, it's difficult to go into a care home and say, right, this, this care home's failing. I just wanted to say thank you to Anne-Marie and the team and to everyone that's been involved, the, the care home managers, all the staff, all the residents, all the relatives, and um, look forward to the next episode of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.